Now, last week we covered the less than warm reception received by the PM when he went on Network 10's The Project to discuss The Voice. Now the Australian Today reports that this could be a sign of a more politically agnostic direction for The Project because its viewers are falling. Andrew, what do you think about this? Well, let's not get too carried away here. It is one interview and uh, I guess the, the road, the journey back to the centre for the project is a very, very, very <laughs> long one. In fact, you, you take out a pair of binoculars and you would not see the destination that they need to go down. And this has nothing to do with Hamish. I mean, Hamish McDonald is a, is a great interviewer. He's a good journalist. Uh, he, I've always found him to be very balanced uh, and he, he hits every politician the same way, but it is the people that sit next to him that are the problem, and I'm, I mean the comedians, and I, I use that term very, very loosely. Yeah. Uh, it, they are the problem. It is the celebrity presenters, and again, I use that term very, very loosely. They mm. are the problem here because they've tried to appeal to uh, a viewer in Fitzroy that is not going to watch their show and they're ignoring people in Fairfield that would sit down and watch their show if it was balanced. Yeah. Look, mm. I don't think there's a problem having a left-leaning television show and right-leaning television shows. I mean, that's part of our democracy. That's right. Well, um, on, the, on, the, on the project, I'm the token right-winger and here I'm the you? token <laughs> left-winger, so I, I applaud the balance. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, it's a problem when the Prime Minister will only go on some media outlets and not others. Yeah, but to be fair, I don't think that's what Anthony Albanese has done. He's been very, very outspoken in saying that not only he, but his ministerial colleagues should also go on conservative media outlets. He went on Piers Morgan's show and declared that he had no time for cancel culture. Um, mm. He uh, obviously gave an interview to me where he declared, I'm not woke, and that he wanted to um, directly target mainstream Australians with mainstream Australian values. And, and you know... He has privately assured me of that as well. I think that I think that is um, genuine and legitimate. As to the project was, um, I think my dear friend Sarah Harris is doing her best to solve them, and she's very much in the centre of politics. She's yeah. not. She's no, you know. She does. She's, she's no, no Lisa Wilkinson. She's no Lisa Wilkinson, and um, I think um, she will be a great asset to the show. Although she is one of my best friends, so I'm probably biased. All right. Well, there you go.